The young man at the back said, well, Minister, I ought to say that there are some people who believe in something called global warming, and if that's the case, then our sea defence rules are quite unsuitable. Uh, we need to uh, factor in a significant rise in the sea level. And I said, well, I'm one of those people who do believe in global warming, and uh, I want to factor in that rise. And the very superior civil servant who was working with me said, oh, well, no, Minister, very, very brave. You always know you're in trouble then. Very, very brave. But uh, the Treasury will never allow it. Well, I was writing Mrs. Thatcher's speeches at the time, so I rang her up and I said, um, this is the situ situation and I really want uh, to see if we can fight for this. And the voice on the other end of the phone said, John, there are two people in this government who believe in climate change, me and you. We are there for a majority. Go ahead. And that's why we've got better defences on uh, seas than any other country in Europe. It was that uh, Mrs Thatcher, the scientist, had been convinced of climate change. And I just think that we have to re respect that as the biggest uh, issue in front of us the most important material threat that we've got and uh, I'm rather uh, loath to have party political arguments about it. I mean I could just, if I wanted to, I could remind you that the Liberal Democrats were in favour of uh, taxing domestic uh, uh, electricity and, and oil and such like um, until there was a by-election and when there was a by-election they found it was unpopular so they changed in order to win the by-election. The trouble with politics is that their people are always very good talking about things in general, but rather bad at doing things in particular. And that's why I'm a bit softer on the Labour Party, because they've been in government and it's more difficult if you're in government. And it did take Friends of the Earth, the Conservative Party, and then latterly the Liberal Democrats, to get the Climate Change Act through. They were opposed to it. Governments don't like it. The Treasury hated it. They thought it was unacceptable. But uh, we got enough supporters in the back benches of the Labour Party to get it through. So you have to fight. And frankly, whoever's the government, you're going to have to go on fighting. Because the issues are much tougher than are put forth. Uh, I mean, let's just take this big issue. Let's take one issue. I think it's nonsense to promise uh, that you're going to measure your success against climate change about renewables. What you do is to measure your success on the basis of the cutting of emissions. And if you want to do this job, you don't get hooked up on some theology uh, about renewables. You say, everything has got to be better. We've got to use everything, and every system of producing energy has got to be cleaner. And we're going to measure that by the reduction in emissions. And that's why you can't be a theological, and I have to say this, about nuclear power. You have to say, we have got to get our energy in a way which will first of all be as clean as we can make it. And if that, in an interim circumstance, means nuclear power, well then, then we'll have it. But uh, we can't put our dislike of nuclear power and our second guessing people who are more experienced than ourselves uh, ahead of our concern about um, climate change. I don't take anybody who's opposed to nuclear power seriously because I think it's the wrong way round. The thing we have to be is opposed to climate change and we've got to find the best way of solving